Okay, this is a brief um, set on how to find distance and midpoint in the coordinate plane. Okay, so we have a distance from it. It says that if I want to go from a point A at x1, y1 to point B at x2, y2, then what I do is the distance from A to B should be the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now that's not overly challenging but let's get an idea of why this works and it works because of the Pythagorean theorem. It's really just a rewriting of the Pythagorean theorem so let's take a look at that. So I'm going to put us in the first quadrant of the coordinate plane it doesn't have to be in the first quadrant, but I'm going to just kind of put us here because it's easiest to work there, but everything here will still hold true. So this point is at x1, y1. Point B over here is at x2, y2. And what I want to find is that distance, so we'll call that AB, right there. <clears throat> the key here is to find like a point here so that I can make a right triangle. Okay. Now if you think about this, the x coordinate of this point, so we'll call it C for the moment, is x2. The y coordinate of this point would be y1. Alright, so let's look at the distance from here to here. Right? So that distance is going to be x2 minus x1. This distance here, well, that could be written as y2 minus y1. Okay, so it's the difference between y1 and y2. Now, that's going to come out as a negative number, but it's really kind of not important at this point because we'll see why in a little bit. All right, so maybe we could put like absolute values around these. That way they're both positive. Now we're playing with the ruler postulate. All right, so let's see. This, using the Pythagorean theorem, this is the hypotenuse. So a, b squared should be this leg, which is x2 minus x1 squared. And I can get rid of the absolute value. Why can I get rid of it? Because, well, when I square something, I get a positive number. So the absolute value is going to be inconsequential here. Plus this guy squared. So this is going to give me y2 minus y1 squared. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, right? Um, but I don't want AB squared, I want AB, so I just take the square root of both sides, and lo and behold, I get my distance formula. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, all of it square root. Alright, so this is how our distance formula plays out, and this is why it exists. So the other thing in this section is a formula for finding a midpoint, right? So again, I have a point A at x1, y1. I have a point B at x2, y2. And I want the midpoint M, we'll call it M, of the segment that connects these two. So it's the midpoint of segment AB, right? So my formula says that M is going to be a point, so it has to have two coordinates, right? 
and it's going to be the average of the x coordinates as the x coordinate and the average of the y coordinates as the y coordinate. So it's add them and divide by 2. So let's think about why this is going to work. So we'll do that with a drawing as well. So again, I'm going to put us in the first quadrant. Again, this is without loss of generality. I, I can put myself anywhere. And here's my point A at x1, y1. And here's my point B at x2, y2. Okay, so this is the segment AB. And somewhere there is my midpoint M. That's the coordinates that I'm trying to find. All right, so let's think. Again, draw a, like a right triangle here. All right, so this point here, we'll call it C, is going to be at X1, Y2. Okay, so this is at the same midpoint of that. It's halfway there. So this point should have the average of x1 and x2 halfway between those x1 plus x2 x2 over 2 and then it's y2 is the coordinate of this guy so that means if I go straight up from there the x coordinate doesn't change so the x coordinate here is still x1 plus x2 over 2 alright so Playing the game here, I'm looking at the y coordinates. The y coordinates, what's changing? It's going from y1 to y2. Well, what's halfway across there, so this point here is going to have the x coordinate of x1, the y coordinate of y1 plus y2 over 2, because it's halfway from there to there. So that means the y coordinate here is y1 plus y2 over 2 and that gives me uh, it was kind of ugly let's do that again that gives me the coordinates for the midpoint okay so let's summarize real quick formula for distance from a to b is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and the formula for the midpoint right, of segment AB is going to be x1 plus x2 over 2 because that's an average y1 plus y2 over 2 also an average so these are the two critical formulas from this section all right